Las Vegas. It's the Q covering EMC World 2016. Brought to you by EMC. Now, here are your hosts, Stu Miniman and Brian Gracely. Welcome back to Las Vegas here at the Sands Convention Center. This is Silicon Angle Media's production of The Cube from EMC World 2016. I'm Stu Miniman, joined by Brian Groisley from the Wikibon Analyst team. Happy to have on the program uh, two first time guests. We've got Rob Coper, who is the senior storage consultant with OpenLine Consultancy. Rob, welcome to the program. You're welcome. And, and we also have Mary Kay Costin, who's Senior VP of EMC Customer Service. Mary Kay, thanks for joining us. Hi, thanks for having me. All right, uh, so for Mary Kay, I, I guess you could tell us a little bit about your role and uh, you know, just give us a brief on uh, you know, My Service 360, big announcement at the show. Yeah, it's a very exciting announcement. I have responsibility for global customer service at EMC, so I have just the, the fortune to lead a group of very talented people that really help our customers have a highly available service environment or data center. And so My Service 360, which we announced yesterday on the main stage, really helps our customers, enables them and empowers them to take some of that into their own hand, hands. So they can go on EMC online support and go through that portal and get all sorts of rich information about their environments. Okay, and Rob, if you could just give us a little bit of background on your role and what does OpenLine Consultancy do? Okay, uh, my name is Rob Kober. I'm, I work for a partner called OpenLine, in the, based in the Netherlands. Um, we're uh, primarily, we started as a, as a storage uh, partner and we built the company uh, doing uh, backup as a service as well. <coughs> uh, my role primarily is uh, storage based, so uh, I grew from Clarion to VNX, so to the Unity maybe, we have Extreme IO, we have VMAX, uh, yeah. Cool, and, and Rob, I, I understand from some of the background, uh, you, you guys uh, you know, leverage it cloud. What, what does cloud mean to you, mean to your customers? How well, does that fit into the story? Yeah, we have a few data centers that uh, we uh, offer to customers that uh, don't want the responsibility of maintaining their own data center, and we host their, uh, their environment uh, in our data centers, and we manage that. So uh, it could be from uh, simple compute to compute and storage, or just storage, uh, backup, or whatever, whatever they need. Yeah, so th the Netherlands geographically, not the largest country in the world, but, nope. but an incredible concentration of technical talent, you know, financial services are there. What are you hearing from your customers these days? What's pushing them, what's, what's driving their business, and what's pushing you guys? Uh, innovation, I would say. Uh, they want to keep up with, with the latest technology, um, uh, constantly, uh, it, well, they're constantly in need of, 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 of new software, which uh, needs uh, faster hardware, they, and, and, and yeah, we provide that. So, uh, companies are expanding, so we expand for them, the, yeah. uh, the IT infrastructure that is, so, yeah. Take, take the complexity out of their job, let them focus on the business. Sorry? Take the complexity out of their job, let them focus on yeah, the business. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, we do IT for them, and yeah. let, let, let the customers focus on their business, and yeah. So, Mary Kay, maybe explain how you know, My Service 360 supports you, your partners and uh, anything particular uh, that, that Rob and his team have been uh, working with you on it. Yeah, we had, um, we've been working on this for about 18 months, and we started talking to a lot of customers. This is really something that we brought to the customers, but we were listening to them. They really are, as Rob saying, challenged in managing not just the complexity, but the, you know, estate, the assets they have in their environment. And this particular capability allows them to see all the different EMC assets, what their code levels are, what um, their contracts are, their service contracts expiring. It enables them to see at the open service request. And also we've got some uh, health and risk assessments that are part of that. So they can try to maybe prioritize, I'm sure, you know, managing change and short maintenance windows is also a challenge. So it helps provide some level of assessment for them to manage risk. Great, so Rob, can you tell us, you know, what, what's your experience with the My Service 360? Well, um, what, I, what I particularly like about it is that you can now finally drill down to uh, uh, individual items in, for example, these service requests. Uh, if I uh, previously got a request, uh, so uh, to, to list the, the, the amount of failures that we had in our environment or 
the amount of time that we had to spend on uh, in the data center to uh, host the uh, customer service uh, engineers to do replacements. Um, I had to, well, look up every service request in, that, that we had in the past, that could be hundreds, and it, it, it would take a lot of time to, to go all, uh, through all that. And with my Service 360, I can now select the, mm -hmm. the side ID or side IDs and have everything on the screen right away. I mean, my Service 360 does that now, does that for me now. Instead, yeah. that I have to go through all that, so it's 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 been amazing. Okay, right. well, it's great to see you excited about it. Yeah. What, what does that translate to, kind of your business and your users? Well, as I, as I said uh, previously, we had to go through a lot of research or maintain lists of of, of uh, activities that that were uh, uh, taking place at at our sites, and now I don't even have to do that anymore because the data is there. I just click on my Service 360 and see it live. Yeah. So that it, it, it saves a lot of uh, well, it saves a lot of time actually. And yeah. in that personalization, you know, you can yeah. cluster yeah. site IDs together and call it something, or you can cluster assets together and and call it something. So it makes sense to yeah. to the customer or the partner that's using it. Yeah. Well, we live in such a different world now. People are used to sort of self service. They're used to yeah. lots of data. It doesn't overwhelm them anymore. Mm -hmm. This this feels like it's you know the right time for the way people can interpret things, the way they want to get support. You know, because they may come directly to you, they may come directly to you, or they may go out to the internet, right? Yeah. And being able to kind of combine all those things feels like the right time to have that, that tool in place. Yeah. yeah, and it's really intuitive, I think, to your point, because people are used to that. Um, the, the teams that designed it really designed it in a way that people are used to serving themselves. Yeah. It actually, some of the heads-up displays kind of look like things you'd see on your Fitbit you know, app or, or something like that. So yeah. it's, it's very modern looking and very current, and again, I think it's a great capability just to help the customers serve themselves. Yeah. They don't want to talk to people if they don't have to. You know, yeah. We'd all rather serve ourselves, I think. Yeah, absolutely. As right. long as it's low effort. Yeah. <laughs> And how do you how do you take the data that comes into the tool, you know, internally from a uh, customer support perspective, and try and you know make feedback to engineering, make the products better, uh, make your experience, the overall experience better? Yeah, you know, one of the things that this my service 360 is enabled by this data lake. You mm. know, and the data lake, the MC data lake, is made you know with our own products. It's a secure environment. And it has enabled many other things other than My Service 360. To your point, yeah. we also use the information that is kind of is collected within that rich set of data to learn about how our products are performing in the field, yeah. and then talk to our service product leaders, talk to the engineering folks, and they make suggestions for improving our products. And it, it informs the releases and serviceability features based on how we're seeing those products perform. Yeah, no, that's that's incredibly important. I, you know, more and more, the, the distance between you and your customer is getting smaller, they expect you to know about what them, and they want you to proactively help them, so yeah. that's, that's really important. And, and that's part of the thinking with My Service 362 is that personalized, proactive, predictive capability that we wanted to, to provide for right. our customers. Right. All right. So, Mary Kay, can you talk a little bit about the rollout of, uh, of the solution and where, where can people learn more about it? So it is available now. If you are a customer that has a maintenance contract or products on warranty and your hardware is connected, that helps for the richest of data is to have your hardware connected through ESRS, you can go on to support.emc.com and you can get to the My, My Service 360 part of that, um, that presence, that web presence. If you want to learn more, there's a video, I think, right there on the on the main page right now. It's about a four minute video that talks about the features and capabilities. Great. Or you can go to the Global Services booth if you're here at EMC World. All right, Rob, can you give us a little bit of a personal viewpoint of your experience here at EMC World? I know they do a lot of things for partners. I heard even Lenny Kravitz is uh, <laughs> playing for him. So hopefully you got to see some of the stuff and what's your experience been? Well, um, Actually, it's 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 always overwhelming to be here. There's there's a lot of things going on, and you can be at at seven places at the same time. So I just try to um, make use of my time as efficiently as, as possible. Mm -hmm. So um, I've been talking to uh, the My Service 360 people, of course, mm -hmm. uh, give my feedback on, on what I uh, what I like and and uh, where there are uh, points that 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 need some adjustment. Or I mean, that's giving feedback, and with all the feedback. That's, that, uh, that they get, they can improve 
uh, a product. And that's just not, not just my Surface 360, but the whole support side. I'm, I've been talking to other people. Of course, EMC World, Sessions, the whole new Unity product is out there. Uh, I've been to a couple of sessions uh, that did a real deep dive on that. And uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's always great to, to, well, to improve your mind or, and, and especially networking. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing people that I, don't, I haven't seen in a year and I, I, can, I can finally meet up with them and, and yeah. Be right. friends. <laughs> yeah, always. Uh, you know, more activity than you can ever fit in in the week uh, at yeah, UMC it, World. It, so why just four days? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some of us are looking to leave Vegas as soon as possible, but yeah, absolutely so good. Just it in. don't think of yeah. outside. Just think of what's here. You've been outside? <laughs> uh, hardly. <laughs> All right. Well, Rob and Mary Kay, really appreciate you sharing uh, everything that's going on there. We'll be back with lots more coverage here from EMC World 2016. You're watching the Cube.